Okay, we just thought we'd try this for the first time actually is hook up the cable. So there's just a little uh, connector right there. So we just connect that here and then uh, we've got the other end over here. We'll just screw it in and then inside we'll also need to um, hook up to the cable box and do all that kind of stuff. One thing to note, if you're using the antenna, there is a tiny little button uh, to turn on an amplifier for the TV. We'll show you that button. Okay, time for TV. We don't find we use the TV much just because we're enjoying the outdoors, but this is where you would um, uh, have the antenna go up and down. Once it's all the way up, you'll be able to adjust, pull this down and adjust it. Um, okay, let's see, I'm going down. You can kind of hear it up there. So uh, once it's all the way up, like I said, you can adjust it by just pulling that down and turning it. But I also wanted to point out in here is where there's a little amp and it just, it's that tiny little switch right there. And you'll see that being illuminated and that will amplify the antenna. So anyway, that's where that is. Um, and then here's where the TV is and if you're plugged in um, you will which we are plugged in um, you'll see the red light illuminated and it's just plugged in here in the back um, just try to make that kind of convenient for you to be able to uh, plug in right there uh, and that's drawing from pow shore power uh, this one actually has a DVD uh, slot loading right here on the side so you can load the TV here or the DVD right there and then um, It also you can uh, When you're hooked up to the antenna and the amplifier on you can go to source and choose TV and Right now it's probably not going to pick up anything because my antenna is not up, but um, That's where you go for the TV. This will actually play from the uh, uh, Stereo unit right now um, so that's something that maybe I'll talk to you in person about so Okay, I'm going to show you how to make the table into a bed. So this one's pretty simple uh, We just um, will fold that back. This has a little uh, switch that you can just uh, tuck that in underneath um, Might need to adjust Just a little bit um, So that I can <laughs> Get through and then, uh, there's your fingers there we go. And then what I do is, um, yeah, just pull these out from the side. And there we go. There's the bed. Uh. Uh, <laughs> there's the bed. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's a little squishy. And then I'd recommend putting a sheet on it as well. So, um, you know, so letting that. Also, the bed over here, this one's pretty simple. Uh, it doesn't even have a switch. You're just going to kind of pull it out and up and down. So with the seat belts, I try to put them to the side as much as possible, but they will actually tuck down inside of here. They're kind of a pain to get out, but, um, but you're just going to reach, reach down in here and find them and grab them. You can kind of see them from looking back in the back. So there's three seat belts right there. You need to be seat belted when you're, uh, RV is moving according to insurance uh, There's technically six seat belts Actually, I think there's more because the the kitchen table actually has some seat belts um, Something to note about these seat belts Carrie if you want to come over here and take a look if this seat belt gets jammed for whatever reason um, So sometimes it'll be like back here if you do your best to just shove it in there, it'll feel really unnatural and hard kind of to do, but it will work again. So that's kind of a bugger with, with this seat belt. So, um, but most of the time that happens if you're like twisted like this and it's really having a hard time getting in there. So if you pull it all out, untwist it, and then kind of shove it back in, it should start working again. <laughs> 